Notion just dropped its new and highly anticipated timeline feature. This video is gonna walk through how I'm using it in my workspace, how you can use it in your workspace with a template that'll be linked in the bio below. Quickly here, this is the press release that Notion had. If you haven't looked at it, I'm also gonna link this below. I recommend you check it out. But uh, getting right into it, this is my project database. This is where I manage all the projects I work on. And I think that this is by far the most effective utilization of the new timeline feature. To get into it, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm using it and how I have this set up. So quickly, every single one of, every single one of these lines here is a different project that I'm working on. And there are a few variables that are important to know. So the first that I have is the mode which is the area that this project sits under. Then the next three are progress, goal, and status. And this is effectively the number of steps that I have to take progress to achieve the goal, completing the project, completing the project and the status monitors that. This status bar, although it seems like a complicated formula here, and don't worry, I'll, you'll be able to uh, copy and paste it right into, your, right into your workspace. It's basically just saying this is how far along you are and this is the burn down of the project, meaning the percentage of time that's taken place so far in the project, and then obviously the date. Uh, lastly, there is the idea priority variable, which I have hidden here. Uh, for, any, uh, for any new projects that I plan on working on in the future. This is a holistic database that has my ideas as well as my archive, project archive as well. Uh, so this was the former, the view that I was working with before Timeline. Uh, this is the archive, which is simply anything that has game over in the status bar goes in here. And then my ideas. And under each idea, I have the areas. Um, so these are the ideas that I have for each one of these areas. For example, in health, these are the ideas that I have for some of the health projects that I can run. Moving back into timeline, I wanna walk through what you can actually do, how you can navigate around. What's really cool here is you can make it like very detailed. You can break it down to on a week by week basis, the projects that you're running on a monthly basis, which I just had, or on a quarterly basis, yearly basis, et cetera, to get a micro view of what's going on or more of a high level, a high level view. Let's move back for month for the time being. Another thing that's very interesting is, as you can see, there's a sidebar here, and I can either choose to hide that or show it. And if I choose to show it, I can add any variables, any variables that I want to this sidebar. I've left it to simply just have my areas in the sidebar, and that's all with everything else in the main timeline. But um, and for this main timeline, I just have the project names and the status bar, which I found to be most effective. You also, I found sorting by duration is the most effective. What this does is it brings the projects that started the furthest back and put that right at the very top. As you can see, the eBooks highlighter project from me started way back, um, not way back, but a decent, decent while ago. So it's sitting at the top and everything else is trickling down underneath. If you're wondering, I've set the filters here, so anything that is an idea or anything that is a completed project does not show up. So these are only active projects and future projects. And as you can see here, the, it has the date listed exactly when they're going to start. One additional feature that I'm not using is the ability to sort by date ranges. For example, if I had a variable here such as the last edited, um, I could then break this up and have a start date variable, a last edited variable to show how long I've worked on my projects um, from the time they were started to the time they were last touched in their database. Uh, lastly, in navigating and actually using this interactive timeline, something that's really cool is I can move all of the projects just by dragging and clicking. This is really, really cool. I can extend the end date. I can extend or shorten the end date and same thing with the beginning date right here. I can choose to create a new project on a single click and it'll bring me into here, automatically set a date for a few days. 
So we just label this test for the time being. And now it, it bumped right back up. Really, really simple to do. Let me just delete this now. I've created a template that is basically a blank slate that you can add very easily to your own Notion workspace and begin adding in your projects to it. There's three simple parts to it um, that build, that basically simplify everything that I add in my template, which is the timeline view, the ideas view, and then the project archive. With the timeline view, as you can see here, it's pretty straightforward. I've also added a template that I use for the projects that I undertake, which basically highlight my reasoning for undertaking this project, any obstacles that I foresee, any reasons that I expect to quit, and just why I'm excited about it. I think that's very important to keep in mind when working on, on projects. Also, there's this levels component, which ties really well into the project progress, goals, and status bar. For example, each level is could be one area, like one part of the progress, and then each task underneath is proportionally that amount of the project. So in this case, if there's two levels, if I complete this first task, I'm 0.33 way through on the progress. If I can complete all of level one, then I'm one uh, through progress, and there'd be two, um, two under goals for two levels itself. Ideas, this is very simple. This is just where you throw an idea in. Anything that doesn't have a duration or any progress towards it as a project will sit here. So if I throw in something empty, it will sit automatically here. Lastly, archive. These are projects that you have done and they're contingent on having the status of them being over. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, download the template, send me a message below, um, send me a message on Twitter, uh, excuse me, drop me a message below or send me a message on Twitter. I'd love to hear from you if you found it helpful. If you have any questions or any problems, uh, please feel free to reach out anytime. I'm always happy to hear from you. Thanks. Have a great day.